Nationalopathies. So the problem we're trying to solve for the restaurants is giving them the ability to grow without any capex needed or without the need to actually hire staff and manage the business themselves. So imagine you're a business in New York and you want to expand to Dubai. You can just license your brand out to us and in a matter of a, if, you know, a few weeks you're live in every single kitchen we're in. And we're the ones actually cooking the food on your behalf. So it's really solving the problem of allowing restaurants to scale up in this new digital age. So we've had over 100 new restaurant partners in 2020, um, and, and a majority of 2020 was the pandemic. So you can kind of attribute a lot of that to restaurants wanting to find new sources of income. I think from our end as well, um, you know, if the restaurants who were a bit hesitant to work in a business model, to work with a business model like ours, that has completely shifted during the pandemic, where they actually didn't have much options left except to really find new ways to, to create a new revenue stream. During the pandemic, half our restaurants were shut down because malls were shut down. And so we had to find vehicles of growth. We had to keep the business going. Ketopi was a perfect foil in that they had kitchens readily available where we could walk into, uh, set up our kitchen, train their staff in Papa John standards and start delivery. We could uh, start a business with Ketopi in less than a week. While if we were to build our own restaurants in new trade areas, it would take us anything from three to six months. So the pandemic has completely changed a number of things. You know, for example, uh, people now order digitally, which was not the case earlier, from around 30% revenues coming from digital platforms. Today, we are above 60%. So it, it's a big shift. And the obvious is the fact that people now eat at home. They are not into going out.